I once had it all. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing. But I'm back. Taking what's mine. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations. Dear, congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. Huh? Whole lighthouse is at your disposal. My ass! I'm an adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything to your liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh -huh. now, it is very... Specific on the timeline. I, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Now that was a conversation I was too sober for.
Our sources say 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it, nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? That's insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Haunted? All of these things. I was just looking around and it's... certainly something. How are you? Do the meds work? Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. <gasps> well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. We were 
like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck. One awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. Ellen? I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, oh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office.
working all night. Don't wake me up. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of the harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, there's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Sorry. I'll make it up to you. Tonight it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised!
Why pink? This is private. Two souls, so passionate, so talented, and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. A home, a wife, a family, peaceful life, betrayal of everything that made them both artists, and yet... We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. understand what it takes to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush. I can't remember the last time I wore these.
Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie. This is fine. This is good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. F 
For all our sakes. For our family. For a family? Or just for you? Go on. Tip the scales. Paint. the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you, it was you he really lusted for. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And re I think we should drop the Takata here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. a new set. Less flashy this time. You were right, it works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted.
can two people, who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us and especially our children. Please, consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe. felt as if it wasn't my hand that wrote the letters when using it.
In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Have a responsibility. Finish it. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Thank you. 